Is everyone ready? Yes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and six. Seven. Okay. Today I will be demonstrating on how to create a scrapbook page memorable. It's fun. It's important to make sure that the scrapbook page is fun, but you also have to make sure that it's most important that you create a page that will last your memories forever. The first thing you need to do when creating a page is make sure that you have all your materials ready. Some things you may need are scissors, pictures, stickers, paper, glue, tape, and anything else you like to use. And just as a tip, instead of using glue, you can use double-sided stickers and that'll save you the time and a mess of cleaning up glue. A little bit of thing that I like to do is use stuff from my own house just to save, and it saves you a little bit of time and it, saves, it makes your page look a little bit more unique. Now after you have all of your materials ready, the next thing you need to do is pick a theme. It's important to have a theme for your scrapbook page to make sure that you stay structured throughout the entire scrapbooking process. Here I have some examples of some different types of themes you can use when choosing a scrapbook page. Now once you have your materials and your theme picked out, you're ready to scrapbook. Today I chose a 12 by 12 piece of paper in which to save us some time I already glued a piece of scrap paper from my house. Now in order to make sure that no one knows that I already used a piece of scrap paper, I'm gonna add something that I had from the actual event that I went to. I'm gonna use my name tag from the centerpiece of the table and make sure that it covers up the piece of scrap paper that I went to. So I'm gonna take the stickers off. I'm going to paste it down to make sure that no one can tell that the paper I already had was already used. And once I glue that on, the paper is ready to be used for the pictures to be placed. Today, for the paper, it's most best to use three to four pictures for the 12 by 12 to make sure that your page does not get overcrowded. Today, I'll be using three, two of which are horizontal and one of which is vertical. To add something to the one vertical page, I'm gonna go ahead and add something to it. I went ahead and found another piece of scrap paper and I'm gonna add the picture to it and it's going to create a little border for the one vertical picture. So I'm going to paste that down And I'm going to put the picture on top of that. And once that is paste, before I actually put the picture on there, I'm going to do a little something to the pictures just to create a little bit more fun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to round the corners of all the pictures. You don't have to do it to every picture, but you can do it to whichever ones you want. So I'm going to go ahead and lay my pictures out wherever I want them. And you have to make sure that you take the tape off the back so they stay to the paper. You can lay the pictures out however you want. It's best to angle them though so there's a little bit of diversity throughout all the pictures.
once you add the last sticker to the page, your page is complete depending on what you want to do to it. Now, since the page is complete, that's all you have to do. And in conclusion, all that has to happen is that it doesn't take much time and creating a scrapbook page captures memories forever. Now I will take the time to ask any question that you guys have for me. Yes. Do you have to use the extra decorations or was that just to kind of enhance it? You don't have to use extra decorations. The only reason people do them is to add a little bit more to the page and a little bit more color. Any more questions? Mm. Um, how much do these materials cost? Most of the materials cost anywhere from five to $20. It just depends on what you want to buy and what all you want on your page. But most of the time, just for a tip, if you go on the weekends to many craft stores, you can get the materials for a lot cheaper. Any last questions? How much time to spend on each page? You can spend anywhere from an hour to five hours on a page. It just depends on how dedicated you want to spend to a page, and it just depends on how many pictures and how much you went through for that event of the page. Any more questions? Are you kidding me? Yeah, what part of do not talk during this? Okay. What? First, you can't say.